Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Wild Gyro. Not sure if everybody's aware of this, but the reason I haven't been posting as regularly, and it seems like my heart hasn't been in it, is because I've been working on my own personal music. As it stands right now, it's just a mixtape, but it sort of has a storyline within the confines of a reality that sort of mirrors mine. So it is written, and I've done some graphics for it, and I have all of the instrumentals for each of the 9 songs, with an additional 2 backup instrumentals for each. None of these instrumentals are cleared for exclusive rights, and I was fine with this. But honestly, I kinda wanna see this on Spotify and streaming services. I'd like to throw my hat in the YouTube rapper sphere and just see what happens. So if any of you are interested in a guest feature, a production credit, graphic design on the limited vinyls, or mixing and mastering credit on this project as an official release, you may make a donation to this cause via Cash App or PayPal. For a guest feature verse on one of the 9 tracks, the minimum donation is $100. For a reduction credit, meaning a beat that you produce that impresses me more than what I've already got, the minimum donation is $100 as well. Both of these options come with 5 redos each, so if your verse isn't up to par on the first try, you've got 4 more. Same goes for the beats. The minimum donation to design the graphic album cover to go on a limited vinyl edition is $300. This is because I am an artist by passion, and you better blow me out of the water if I'm going to take my own work down. <laughs> if you want to mix and master the final master tracks, the minimum donation is $75, but I may just waive that entirely if people are willing to sit in and make me sound better. Every single person who has a hand in helping me to make this official release on Spotify and YouTube music happen will be credited officially as contributors in your given field on the album and its finality. I plan on shooting two or three music videos as well, and anybody who donates anything will be included in at least one video with your social media handles and links to identify you. This would be the beginning of what's not become commonplace, but was once my revolutionary idea for how to incorporate the creation of music with social media, and I will greatly appreciate anybody who wants to take part in this midlife crisis obsession passion of mine. I will drop a rough draft of a couple of the songs tonight so you can gauge what little talents I have and whether night you want to put your name anywhere near mine on an album. Much love! Here's my cash shop. Stand by for PayPal. This fucking sucks, dude. Asking people to pay money to do work for you is worse than... I feel like that finishes by saying it's worse than asking for free, but they've got a really good point. I don't know anybody who would want to pay somebody to go and work for that somebody on top of it. The only winner here is the one that's collecting payment. This next one is by Ali China Doll. Well, what a disappointment. The fun day was at the welfare. Loads of kids there and nothing much for them. The glitter tattoos, which we waited for an hour to get. Well done, ladies. You were the star of the day coping with all the kids, and a few little pets were the only thing of interest. Goodie bags were gone by 1pm. Anyways, a lot's going on for older people in this town, never for the kids, and we wonder why they get up to mischief. And LC were given a jubilee fund for the town apparently. What do you expect from a free charity event? Do you expect them to bend over backwards for you? Do you expect them to make sure they hold goodie bags specifically because they know you're going to grace their presence around 1pm? Honestly, could this beggar complain about anything else? Probably that the sun was too bright. This next one is from Duster Charger. Hey beggar, worker here. It was nice talking to you earlier. In case it doesn't work out, then it's completely understandable, but please do let me know. Thanks! 
Hi, worker. With the nature of the job and brands in hand, we're actually looking out for a full-time freelancer. And since you will be available only at nights, which I understand, we shall not be able to collaborate with you at the moment on the current requirement. But having said that, in case if there is a future need, I shall definitely connect with you. Also, let me know if you are simultaneously looking out for a copywriter's job on a permanent payroll, or any of your friend who is looking out for a better change. What do they want for a full-time writer? Do they want somebody literally working around the clock for them, or do they have even set hours? It just makes you wonder how some of these beggars come up with the things they ask for without giving all of the details. This next one is by Aslan Adrian. I'm looking for a roadie, male or female, who has absolutely no regular commitments during the daytime. Suit unemployed or retired person. This is not a job, but a chance to earn some extra pocket money. And gigs could be once a week or two or three times a month or more. I just do gigs as I get them. Job is to help me set up and take down equipment and to operate my backing music, stop and start it on my laptop. Very easy. Pay is $50 per gig. Cash! I get the occasional party in the evenings and smaller pubs and clubs. If you have any regular daytime obligations, this is not for you. Only genuine, completely flexible people please apply. So you do gigs as you can get them, so basically what you're saying is you could potentially have a list of last minute things that you need somebody to just show up for, and god forbid they have a, I don't know, daytime job? This next one is from Evil Vix. By any chance, do you have $10 I can borrow until next Wednesday, and I'll pay you back $15? Yeah, sure. I can send Interac. What's your email? Just pay back 10 can you send it to Beggar's email? He needs it for gas for work. He said, or you can do 20, so he makes sure he has enough until I get Monday next week. It's beggars at beg at icloud.com. Thank you. Can you let me know when you sent it so I can message him and let me know? Okay, I sent $20. It says he has auto deposit, so it should go through soon. Okay, I'll let him know. Thank you. He wanted me to ask you for $30 because his car's a gas guzzler, but I didn't know if he could send that much. You initially asked for $10, then you asked for $20. Now after you get the $20, you're trying to ask for $30? Wow, I don't think they'll be giving you anything anymore. This next one is by Ayella Doodle. Hi Leela, I'm not really sure what to say. And given you are Danny's friend, I won't say exactly how I feel or use the words I have in my head. I'll leave that either to him or your skills of empathy. I don't really buy this as an excuse and am very disappointed. Somewhat angry that you have let us down and for us to not even made your apology list. Evidence not being important. We were happy, but awkwardly waiting a long time based on your promise and confirmation of interest. If you hadn't been interested enough, which I will confidently say I'm sure you weren't based on this, you could have allowed us to have continued our search and realistically found an alternative that was going to deliver in a more comfortable timeline. Bottom line, you have really let us down, and I'm angry for the nature in which you did it. Excuse used and timing, but also very disappointed as you are a very talented artist who appears to be very nice, reliable, and professional. Anyway, I won't hold grudges and believe in karma, so I just wanted to say my peeve as honestly as possible, and I wish you good luck with your projects so I can say when you're famous, Damn, the artist is good and was about to work with this, but let us down badly last minute. So you're hoping they get famous so you can go around and trash them. That's what I'm getting from that last little bit that you added in. What kind of person are you? Maybe, just maybe, in the future, if people see this, they'll decide not to work with you. This next one is from Sark Therapy. Yo man, I love your comics. It's fire. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So can you, like, draw me in your cartoon style? Yeah, for sure. I would just need a picture of you, your favorite color, etc. 
dope, for sure, for sure. And this is all free, right? Actually, no. I charge $20 for a cartoon, but I can get it done by tonight if I get all your info now. $20? Damn, your shit ain't that good. Okay, not sure how you want me to respond to that. <laughs> I'm just saying 20 bones is a lot for one of your goofy ass looking cartoons. Right. A cartoon that you asked for though. So would that make you goofy too? Man, fuck you. You lucky I even like hitting your dumb ass up. I could do this shit way better than you. You know what? You're right. How could I ever refuse such a nice person like you? I'll do the cartoon of you. Don't worry about it. Yo, for real? Yeah, right after I finish climbing Mount Everest. Hit me back up in a year or two. Fuck you. Your shit whack anyway, bruh. What's whack is you're asking someone to provide a service for you while you're not willing to provide payment. Then you try to claim you could do it better. So then why the fuck did you ask? This next one is by BBY5723. Yesterday I was grabbing Duncan and as I was walking to my car, a guy told me he was starving and needed money for food. I offered him some of the breakfast wraps I bought since I didn't have any cash. He demanded for me to go across the street to do cash back or Venmo to him. He got really upset when I said no. If someone is literally starving, they won't turn down food. That's just basic common sense. This guy clearly didn't want food. And our final one is from Lord Baranoff. I was looking at my Facebook memories this weekend, and this popped up from a few years back. I didn't know what choosing beggars meant back then, and I hope it fits here. About 8-9 to nine years ago, the head basketball coach at a Pac-12 school got a huge cash bonus for being named Conference Coach of the Year. As a thank you to fans, he converted it to $5 gift cards for Starbucks and was going to be outside the arena giving them out to fans who wore team colors. So many people were like, Why do I have to be a fan to get one? Isn't there something better than Starbucks gift cards to give to fans? And my favorite, I don't like Starbucks, can I get something else? My opinion at the time was, if you don't like it, don't get one. And apparently enough people complained that when he got another bonus the next season or two, he kept it all to himself, or he gave it to charity, I don't remember, and said that his giveaway was unappreciated so he wasn't going to do it again. I honestly can't say I blame this coach at all. He got a bonus that most people would most likely keep for themselves. However, he decided to try to give back to the people that supported the team. Unfortunately, you're always going to have choosing beggars, no matter what you do or how you do it. It's just the nature of the choosing beggar. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.